Hi, I'm Lex Balladon and this is Scott from Water Sports World. Hello. We are here at North Devon Wake Park. We've been filming all the tech on the uh, 2021 Hyperlite and HO kit. We've been shut in a dark room for a very, very long day, eating lots of pizza. Um, but Water Sports World are the UK distribution company for Hyperlite and HO. And thanks to you guys, we've got quite a few questions um, from Instagram that we're going to go through. So let's kick it up. Yeah, let's go. Right. So the first question is the Hyperlite boots. Apparently there's something new. Fill us in. So yeah, 2021, we have a whole new factory. Um, and so that just gives us an opportunity to do more things, different things. Um, sometimes a factory where we were before can maybe limit the capacity of what we could do, limit um, the dreams of what the creators are wanting to create. So when we move, we move to get better materials, better manufacturing techniques, that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I mean, the Hyperlite boot range has been on point for 2020. Um, definitely like a, a, a massive seller for us, like the de facto, some really good price points between that three and 400 pounds. Um, a lot of people, our brands can charge five, 600 pounds now for boots, which is maybe a little bit more than some people want to spend, but they want good tech and that's where the Hyperlite line comes in. So new 2021, uh, a little bit wider in some of the foot. We took some comments on board, like um, again, listening to like the social is that maybe it was a little narrow, so we widened the foot, footbed a little bit. Um, some new tech, you know, just making them a little bit more durable um and just adapting them so a little bit of thicker rubber on the walk liners and things like this just uh but i really killer i was super proud of where the hyperlight line is for 2021 and the new factory is like the enabler for that um so it can only go bigger and better from here on in oh fantastic that's good to know okay next question so someone is hitting rails and they want to know what board they can get because they've just started the surface 360s they want to know what is their first rail board it's gonna be good for that yeah i mean it's a good question um it's a hard one like the the line is big right like all the all the brands these days have big lines hyperlights line is really big for the cable series now uh, big commitment into cable um, i mean my go-to is usually straight to the ripsaw um sub 400 quid like really well priced board um pretty much like the the abs sorry the polyurethane now um running down the side of that is super strong so you're going to hit that and you're going to hit that first it's going to protect it if you because you're going to mess up you hit obstacles for the first time you're going to hit the sidewall other things i mean you go to something like the kodiak uh the union um a lot of protection on those boards and really good easy to ride boards um and again not at the highest of price points we're a really big believer in ford before ferrari you know like um, i mean you, you as a coach you know you want to get the person on the right board at the right time mm -hmm, um, and, absolutely. and then when they can want to progress then you want to look at the top end you know and, and that's what we like to sell so that's why we try and educate our dealers to sell sell that way Good to know, good to know. So when can people get their hands on the 2021 kit? 2021, mostly in stock now. Um, so if you go down to your local retailer, the key products, you know, we've got like the Pleasure, uh, we've got the Factos coming in, um, new uh, Free Press and Blacklist, they're literally flying in over this weekend that we're filming, so we should have them end of the week. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we try and make sure the key products, key sizes, key boots um, in stock over the winter. People want it on launch. So I think uh, September 7th, Hyperlite launch. And again, social messages all the time, I need this. Um, so do bear with the retail network. They may be a little slow getting it on their websites, but just give your local retailer a call. Head to watersportsworld.co.uk. You can see livestock on there. You get a window into what's in our warehouse. You won't be able to buy from us, um, so please don't ask. We will direct you straight into your local retailer. Uh, we want to support them. Um, but you can see what's available and pretty much all key kit is the idea. If you're an extra, extra large or extra small or want that really small board maybe, that might be spring, mm -hmm. um, but the best sellers will be uh, available now. There you go, you heard it here first. Um, right, so the, um, the HO Amiga is looking pretty sick. What level do I need to be to buy this ski? So, I mean, the Amiga Max, I think, is uh, it's a bright orange one, right? It's the one we got the messages on the yeah, social. Yeah, yeah. It's a killer looking ski, like this bright really nice. neon orange ski. It looks sick. Mm -hmm. It's brand new for 2021. So the Amiga leads our line. Um, so that's like you're talking kind of 34 mile an hour, 36 mile an hour is where you want to be. At. If you're running the course at that kind of speed, mm -hmm. you are a good and experienced skier. I just started to, to learn to slalom this year and you, I'm talking, I'm running like 25, 26 mile an hour. You're not so. quite at the Amiga level yet. Yeah, a that long way off. Um, <laughs> so definitely don't buy off graphic. Whilst it is a killer looking ski, it's got a lot of tech in there. The Max is a wider version. It accelerates quicker um, and it has a bit more stability to it, a bit more speed. Um, but yeah, definitely um, make sure you'll know if that's right. Your ski instructor will be putting you onto the right one. Your coach at the lake will put you onto the right ski. Okay. Uh, but kill looking ski, yeah. uh, just always make sure you're on the right ski for you. Again, uh, same answer. 
Right. Um, I started wake surfing this summer. I want to learn a 360. Which wake surfer should I buy? Good a question. wake surfer, yeah. That's a th <laughs> I mean, if the cable line's big, the wake surf line is even bigger. Um, you've got all sorts of different types of tech, price points. It's a massive growing industry. You know, it was growing in the States and now growing over here, you know, so there's a lot a lot to the range. Mm -hmm. Which to pick? I mean, there's two boards. My go-to in our boat, you know, when we're taking retailers or friends or family out on the boat, we have the broadcast. It's the go-to, straight up. You're going to put someone on yeah. a board, broadcast. That's what I've been trying to spin on. You can spin, easy. I can spin, 360, 720. Stopping the spin and re-engaging on the wake <laughs> is a little bit more difficult. Uh, another go-to is the Hi-Fi. That is kind of our skin board. It will, it will spin really easy, but it's got a really sort of narrow, sharp edge. Um, shout rail to it so it'll re-engage on that wave super easy and carry a lot of speed so you'll be able to spin quickly and get back on that wave so hi-fi broadcast those are your, your two go-to's if you want to get that 360 which is what everyone wants to do once they can ride the wave they want to spin of course um, another question so someone's been riding a boat board for a while and they want to buy a new board but the boards are really big they've been riding obviously a shorter board but now they're all massive can you explain why the boards are bigger now? Yeah, so Hyperlight run sized up tech. I mean, on boards like the Murray, for example, the idea is go bigger, right? So there's, there's cable and boat. Going bigger on the boat is all about just taking the strain away from the body. Um, so like a 150 Murray, we've been riding behind the boat. It just feels so good. You go bigger off the wake. The landings feel smoother. It's almost like, why have we been riding 138 <laughs> for so long? You know, some, some big guys back in the day were riding sub 140. I mean, yeah, that's, that's painful on the body. It's effort. Um, whereas now mellow, you know, it's super nice. Um, and then obviously on, on the cable, bigger is better too there, you know, more flex, um, more body of the board beyond the feet. Um, obviously it's definitely the fashion these days. So that bigger is better, sized up mentality, works cable and boat um, for pretty similar reasons. Okay, it's good to know that I help a lot of people out. I get asked so much about that. Um, the Soulmate 21 is looking nice. Tell us more. I mean, you're saving that oh, one to the end, right? Of course <laughs> I was saving that one to the end. Hard to shut you up about the Soulmate project. So, I mean, <laughs> uh, I'll bring you in on this one, me too. But yeah. So the Soulmate project, this is, this is something pretty cool. Like the UK was a big part of this. I mean, with Lex and then uh, our Lithuanian partners, you know, the guys over there, Agne over there. Yeah. Between the two of us, uh, we kind of made this um, Soulmate project with Hyperlite. Um, so the story goes, a couple of years ago, you know, the collection for ladies wasn't very big. Um, and I mean, they'll probably won't forgive me for saying this, but we essentially, we got the head of the product and the head of the marketing. We had a few beers with them, <laughs> applied them with a little bit of drink and um, put the pressure on to get this ladies range you know, sorted out. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it, it's paid its dividends. The Soulmate oh, is yeah. really sick. Um, it is a brand new board for 2021 in terms of like the graphic is brand new. We didn't have it with us for our tech talks. It's just a little late. Um, it's one of the, the pains of COVID, a couple of the boards. Getting those samples out is a little slower, but it's coming. Um, it's priced a little lower. Um, it has its sister board in the Aries. Yeah. Um, so we've got the two kind of the, what we're saying, like the rebel yeah, and the, the romantic, romantic from yeah. yesterday. So, I mean, uh, yeah, it's coming. Um, and it's a really cool project. Like that sophisticated female athlete is something that we're seeing great response from. Um, and it's, it's, yeah, I think it's a really good thing, a statement to the Hyperlite line. We have two boards for two different types of riders, investing probably more in the female cable line than most of the brands. So. Yeah, absolutely. And it's such a nice board. And anyone that I ride with and they test it out, they love it. Like, there's been such a good response from it. Yeah, I mean, it's we can so fun to go on, on all day about the Soulmate, right? Oh, it's kind of like all day. <laughs> our UK project. And it's uh, <laughs> exactly. it's a massive success story. So, yeah. um, but, killer board. And yeah, massive thanks to like, Hyperlite and for you and for Agne and us working together to yeah. to get this done. You know, like it, it's created a really nice little, our little baby on the market. And it's, it's yeah, it's, it's really Absolutely. sick little project. Well, we're going to end on the song, mate. That's all we've got time for. So thank you so much for sending in all your questions. Yeah, we've thank loved you. answering them, haven't we? Yeah, it's been great. So let's do this again. Yeah, for sure.